30-06 John here and today what I want to talk about is getting your rifle ready for hunting season. So keep on watching and I hope you enjoy the video. Hunting season has started for a lot of places. Uh, I know that a lot of rifle season starts uh, in November. So everyone should be getting their rifle ready for hunting. And uh, one of the first things you should do with your rifle is to make sure that it's clean and still functions. Uh, make sure your rifle is empty. My dry fire, make sure dry fire is okay. Clean the barrel. Uh, make sure there's no rust anywhere. I talked to one guy at the shooting range. Uh, he was going the next day for a Kodiak deer hunt. And his rifle was uh, wooden fire. I helped him pop the rifle out of the stock. And uh, there's all rust underneath it. And his old trigger assembly had uh, frozen up. Took us a little bit to clean it and get it freed up. But we got it working. He was able to go deer hunting the next day. So after your rifle is clean, you might want to take your bolt apart. If you know how to take your bolt apart, a Ruger 77 bolt isn't too hard. You put a pin or a small nail through the small hole and unscrew it. Clean out any built up debris or uh, powder residue. Lightly oil it, put it back together. For ammo, I don't like to experiment or take a new load out that I just developed like a, a week before the hunt. For this rifle, this is the same load I've been using for a few years. I have a lot of confidence in it. It's the Sierra Pro Hunter 150 grain using Winchester 748 ball powder. I've taken a few uh, blacktail deer with it. I have a lot of confidence in this load. If you want to work up a new load and go on a hunt, just make sure you do it, you know, several weeks in advance so that when you practice with it, uh, you have the confidence to use that load. I like to do a uh, ballistic drop table. This is from uh, the Hornady's website. You could type in your parameters and creates a ballistic chart. And let me zoom in here. On this chart, I'm sighted in 2.5 inches high at 100 yards. You can't see it on the chart, but I'm good out to uh, 250 yards. I'm 3 inches low. So I'm good out to 250 yards. Now, I don't plan to shoot any further than that. If you're in an area where you might have to shoot further, you have to sight in your rifle and have the drop table for those further distances. After you have your drop table, a bunch of ammo loaded up, then go to the range and sight in your rifle. After your rifle was sighted in, I accidentally threw away the my final sight in target. But uh, you know, two and a half inches high at a hundred yards, you don't have to worry about too too much about your group size. I mean, if you're shooting one inch at a hundred yards, this is of course better than that. But one inch is still very good, 
inch and a half is actually fine for most deer hunting and that you're still good out to you know three and four hundred yards but once you get your rifle sighted in you're shooting halfway decent groups then you just have to get off the shooting bench and start practicing your field positions I like to practice field positions this is a standing offhand some kneeling prone using a shooting sling my hunting that I do I don't really uh, hunt from a blind or a stand a more still hunt stalking glassing calling usually just put a big old target of some type try to keep it within the uh, smaller circle that's probably what six inches seven inches six and a half inches this type of practice really helps in hunting you usually you don't you're not sitting at a chair and have a bench for rest when you're hunting so having a doing offhand shooting helps don't worry about it when in your practice if you don't get a hit every time. That's what practice is for, to get better. And that's what I do. That's all that I have for today, everyone. Thanks for watching. Good luck hunting and stay safe and have a nice day.